It now seems like Lauren Donaldson will continue in his position as head coach of the Reggae Girls. That's if JFF General Secretary Dennis Chung's word is anything to go by. Earlier this week, news circulated that there was a division among the JFF board members as some wanted Lauren Donaldson fired from the post of Reggae Girls head coach. But when put on the spot as to whether Donaldson would be the one leading the girls at the World Cup, JFF General Secretary Dennis Chung had this to say. At the World Cup? Yeah. As far as I know, yes. As far as I know, I don't have any information otherwise. But Donaldson may still have to meet with the JFF following a message he relayed to the JFF chairperson for women's football, Elaine Walker-Brown, on June 16. Donaldson told Walker-Brown on that day that the girls would not travel with her on the bus for an excursion to Duns River Falls in St. Anne. The girls have since admitted giving the coach the message to deliver, but the JFF is not willing to let sleeping dogs lie. Organizations don't work like that, you know. Organizations have to discuss these things, right? Um, because someone says something, it doesn't mean that it dismisses something else. We have to discuss these things and look into everything. But Walker Brown is adamant that action must be taken. I'm not going to accept it like that. I am not. I'm a director of the Jamaica Football Federation. He's employed. He's employed to the JFF. So you're going to see that he, he, he's been fired then? I, I, don't, I don't know if I can do that. But huh. something, some apology, something, something. You, you, can, you can't just come up and disrespect me like that. There can be different types of action. She had an, a, a situation which is quite unfortunate that it happened. And um, what we want to do is ensure that things like that don't happen again. Chung says it might seem as an attack on the messenger, but there is a responsibility that comes with the position. Not because somebody said to me that I must do X, I'm going to do it, because I have to weigh the personal things to repercussions also. And despite the embarrassment suffered on June 16, Walker Brown remains head of delegation to the World Cup. As far as I know, but... but but she had a meeting with the girls this week, you know, and they discussed certain things and, you know, everybody said, listen, we want to work together. The reggae girls will kick off their World Cup campaign against France on July 23.